Hi, welcome back. It's me again. <laughs> I hope you're ready to do a little psychic work with me. You know, tuning up that psychic sense of yours. And I want to recommend the music in the background is from Liquid Mind 3 called Balance. Okay, it's called Balance. So before we begin, and we're going to be working with our dowsing rods again, um, let's go ahead and do a little breathing meditation to help you open up and be more receptive to the energies around you, okay, and the universal uh, energy flowing through you. So let's take a couple deep breaths. You inhale through the nose and you hold it for about five seconds, and then you're going to exhale out the mouth, okay? Here we go. Try it with me here. You ready? All right. Inhale through your nose. Hold it. Two, three, four, five, and exhale. And inhale. Hold it. Two, three, four, five, and exhale. Again, inhale and hold it. Two, three, four, five, and exhale. Now you should be getting to feel your crown chakra opening up just a little bit. Can you feel that? That tingling sensation right there on the top of your head. All right, let's inhale one more time. Ready? Inhale and hold it for five seconds. Here we go. Nice big inhale. Hold it. Two, three, four. Five. Exhale. Nice. Nice. Very good. Okay, so the last time that we got together and we worked with the dowsing rods, we were working with the bamboo box and then the, the dice in the box. Okay, this time, because I want to get a little bit more... Mm, intuitive, more tuned in with my dowsing rods. Um, I almost feel like I want to name them. You know, I, I'm really starting to build a relationship with them. Um, I want to um, kind of work with numbers, work with the energies of numbers and along with my dowsing rods. So um, I'll show you the number that we're going to work on, the number two. Okay, so this is going to be the number two. And I'm going to put it down this way so that number two is facing upwards. All right, and this may seem a little primitive and a little, um, I guess redundant is the word I want to say, because I'm going to ask the dowsing rods, is that the number two? Okay, is that the number two? I want to see if it's going to work. Okay, I want to see if it's going to work. All right. Is the number two facing upwards on that dice, number two? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, good. Number two. Nice. All right, let's go with, um, here we go. We're going to go with the number one. Night, okay, number one. Good night, sweetie. Okay, here we go. Number one. All right.
Oh, come on now, behave. Is that the number one facing upwards? Number one. The number one facing upwards, yes or no, number one. Okay. Nice. That is the number one. Thank you. All right. Let's do something tricky. Okay, you ready? Let's be tricky. Okay, is the number six facing upwards? Number six, yes or no? Number six. No, that's right. It's not facing upwards because we had the number four. All right, interesting. Okay, let's do number six. Okay, we're gonna do number six. I'm gonna face it upwards. Number six facing upwards. Okay, are we ready? Is the number five facing upwards? Number five, yes or no? Number five. Is the number five facing upwards? Yes or no? Number five. No, that's right, because it was a number six. Okay. All right. Let's try it now in the bamboo box. I know what we'll do. I know what we'll do. All right. So that's the number. Okay. That's the number. I'm going to close the lid. Do the same thing. But now this time it's in the bamboo box. Okay. There we go. Is the number five facing upwards, yes or no, number five? Is the number five facing upwards, yes or no, number five? It's number five facing upwards, yes or no, number five? Number five, facing upwards, number five. Is the number five facing upwards, yes or no, number five?
It's almost like it's trying to sense the dice in the bamboo box. Anybody else get that? I'm getting that. Is it a number five in the bamboo box? Yes or no? Number five. Number five, facing upwards, yes or no, number five. Interesting. It's almost like it's having a hard time reading it. That's weird. All right, let's take it out of the bamboo box. This number five. Oops. Alright. Number five. Number five, right there, number five. Is the number five facing upwards, yes or no? Number five. Got it that time, it's a number five. Interesting. Okay, now let's put it in the bamboo box again. I'm trying to be very scientific about this. All right, here we go, number five. Put it there, and again, it is a the lid. Okay. All right. Let me loosen up here. Here we go. Is the number five in the bamboo box the number five? Yes or no? Number five. I don't think I said that right, did I? That's kind of confusing. Did I say the number five is in the bamboo box? Yeah, see, that's wrong. That's, that's the wrong kind of question. Let's do this again. Is the number five facing upwards on the dice in the bamboo box, yes or no? Yes, yes, that's correct. All right, interesting. Now, I, I have learned, um, like with the pendulum, that you have to ask very specific, direct yes and no questions. There can't be any ambiguity in, your, in the way you ask the question. Um, and clearly I did at the beginning when I wasn't quite clear as to what I was asking for the yes and no question. So this, this is interesting. All right, now let's go ahead and shake it up. Okay, and I'm going to go one through six, and I'm going to go uh, over each number and see if now um, the dowsing rods can uh, tell me the number that is facing upwards on the dice. 
okay and I'm going to put an intention behind this and I'm going to say this is very important I need to know I need to know the number of I need to know the number on the dice that's facing upwards okay is there a number one facing upwards on the dice yes or no a number one No. Okay, thank you. Is the number two facing upwards on the dice? Yes or no? Number two. I need to know, is the number two facing upwards on the dice? Yes or no? Thank you. Thank you. That's a no. Thank you. Pardon me. I've got something on my eyelid that's driving me nuts. Okay, there we go. So this is, yeah. This is live. I'm doing this live. <laughs> I don't edit. I don't know how to edit video, so I apologize for that. I'll get around to doing that. All right. Next number. Number three. Number three. Is the number three facing upwards on this dice? Yes or no? Number three. No. Okay. Thank you. Let's start again. Can you go back to four neutral? A little bit more. Come on now. Here we go. All right. Number four. Is the number four facing upwards on this dice? Yes or no? Number four. Four. Is it a number four facing upwards on the dice? I need to know a number four. Is it number four? Okay, it's saying it's a yes. It's a yes. It's saying it's a four. Okay, here we go. Oh, a number five, which is really close. Wow. It's got the four dots, but the one in the middle. Interesting. Huh. Okay. Let's do this again. All right. Here we go. backwards number six is the number six facing upwards on the dice yes or no I need to know if there is a number six facing upwards on the dice yes or no a number six can you 
Okay, that looks like a number, uh, number. That looks like a no to me, right? A no. Okay. Let's do this again. Here we go. Number five. Is the number five facing upwards? Yes or no? Number five. Number five. Is the number five facing upwards? Yes or no? Number five. Is the number five facing upwards, yes or no? Number five. Hmm. Okay, let's go to four. Is the number four facing upwards, yes or no? Number four. Yeah, that looks like a no. All right, let's try this again. Come on, face forward. A little bit more. There you go, come on now. All right, let's try this again. Is it a number five? A number five facing upwards, a number five. Yes or no, number five. Yes. We will take that as a yes. That's a yes. All right, let's see if it's a number five. Makes me nervous. I don't want to look. Well, I don't know what to say. What, what what do you have to say? You let me know. Is it is it the bamboo box? Is it me? You know why is it when the dice? Let, let's try one more thing. I'm gonna take it out of the bamboo box. Ugh. How can I do this? I want to keep the dice on here without looking. So. I don't want to. All right. No, how's this going to work with my eyes closed? <laughs> oh, that's silly of me. That is just so silly of me. Um, okay, I'm going to pick a number, and then I'll open my eyes, and I'll stay with that number, and we'll see if the rods will respond. Does that make sense? All right. Um, two. I'm going to go with a two facing upwards. A two. Is the number two facing upwards on the dice? Yes or no? A number two. Number two, facing upwards, yes or no, number two. Is 
And then number two, facing upwards, yes or no, number two. No, it's not. It's not a number two. It was the six. Well, that didn't work out so well, did it? That was kind of dumb. <laughs> I'll be honest, that was kind of dumb. This is just so fascinating. Okay. Hmm. Let's try it one more time. I'm bound to determine. I'm going to figure this out. Sometimes it's worked, sometimes it didn't. So let's try it again. Shaking it up. One more time. Here we go. There we go. I want to try to guess. Excuse me, I'm not going to guess. I'm going to try to intuitively tune in for my answer. So you have to watch what you say to yourself. You're not guessing. You're, you're intuitively tuning in. Two. I'm going to go with the two. All right, here we go. I need to know, is the number two facing upwards on this dice, yes or no, a number two? Number two, facing upwards, yes or no? Number two. And a number two facing upwards, yes or no? Number two, I need to know. Help me out here. you but I'm exhausted it takes a lot of a lot of focus as well as um, trying to um, be receptive I guess is what I want to say open and receptive you know trying to really get that mind blank so yay success 
for the least the last one, right? It's been an interesting time together. Um, I hope you've learned something. If you've picked up on something that I'm just not quite observing, uh, let me know. Um, I would love to hear your comments. Again, if you love my videos, please subscribe. I'd love to see you again. And if you want more of these fun types of games to uh, challenge yourself psychically, please join my Spiritual Psychic Mediumship group on Facebook. I'd love to have you there as well. All right, everybody. Talk to you later. See ya. Bye.